Hi, this is the Music Lab Chrome Experiments, uh, the rhythm. So what I'd like you to do, please, is go to this link that I've uh, put into Schoology, and you're going to notice you got a couple of monkeys on the screen. Not too bad. Uh, but really what's important is for you to understand where the beats are and what the rhythms are. So let's just play what it has uh, when it goes to the page. So the monkeys are going to pop pop up and down, bounce up and down on the big beats, the rhythms. You'll notice there's one, two, three big beats. And I'll put another one here. I can just click on it and create one. So here are all three beats. And it just loops around over and over. And you can add, um, so you can see what happens in between the beats. So now we can have all of these. So on the beat would be a quarter note quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, and then you have an eighth note on the beat and an eighth note halfway between. Eighth note on the beat, halfway between, so we have what are called consecutive eighth notes. Or I could take them off and then you can have alternating between these eighth notes here. And then we have the little triangle with the little guy there if you like. Keep that going. So your job is kind of play around with this and see what kind of rhythms and look at the arrow. Why? This is the kind of uh, rhythmic pattern that you will probably be more familiar with, in, or at least the beat pattern, is that we have one, two, three, four big beats per measure. And so you can play and see what uh, the default setting is. So this is the first beat, second beat, third beat, fourth beat. And most of the music that you listen to, this thing is the snare drum on the second beat and fourth beat, first beat, second beat, third beat, fourth beat. And then if you want to put a hi-hat pattern there, this is a very classic uh, drum pattern. And here it is. And the classic drum pattern, this would be a bass drum, and this is being simulated on a floor tom uh, here, but it doesn't really matter. And so you could uh, keep experimenting with these. Now we have five beats, and then the next one is six beats. So this is for you to check out what it just looks like when the big beats are here and you have eighth notes. You're restricted to the eighth notes here, quarters and eighths, and all those combinations with three different lines and different kinds of uh, what are called time signatures. We have three beats and then four beats per measure and five beats per measure and six beats per measure. And that's uh, Chrome Music Lab. Check it out.